No, the purple guy is Prince. Hey everybody, Jeff Stone here with another episode of MagicReview.com where today we are taking a look at Princess Card Trick by Murphy's Magic. Before we do that though, I want to give a shout out to an eBayer named Salman's Stuff. If you look behind me, you'll see, and I'll maybe zoom in on it, the full complete set of the Phoenix books, the Phoenix Magazine. I bought them from him on eBay and I had some of the tannin ones and some of the non-tannin ones. He had some of the tannin ones and some of the non-tannin ones. And he he had the ones I was missing, right? So basically, I have pretty much two complete sets, one tannin and one non-tannin. I was missing a couple books, but they were missing from the non-tannin set. So now I have a complete tannin. As you can see, most of those came from him. And the other ones I have that I don't know what I'm going to do with. But in the box I got was this note. It said, enjoy the classics of... Sorry to read backwards. Uh, enjoy. The classics are where the good stuff is. And then he said, P.S. Big fan of your reviews. Thanks. So, I don't know his real name, but his eBay channel is called Salmon Stuff. I'll put that on the screen so you can see how to spell it. And I'll put a link to it below because if you like books, he's got a lot of books on there and they're reasonably priced. The price I paid for that Phoenix set, it was the entire set. And it was a very reasonable price. Like, for example, I can see he has Theater of the Mind by Barry Richardson in there right now for 60 bucks. That's a good price for that book. So there's a lot of good books in here. Some old ones that are maybe a little harder to find. Some are newer ones. So take a look at that if you're interested in magic books. Anyway, total side tangent there. And I'm not normally don't plug stuff, but I just thought it was cool that he mentioned me and that he watches my videos and I had a good experience with him. So more people should know about that. Anywho, on to the Princess Car Trick. What Murphy's Magic has been doing for the past few years now, taking old classic tricks that are public domain or that are what sometimes we call slum magic, like the ball and vase and the you know penetration frame and sure shot dice, which we're going to be looking at soon, the spring puzzle, which is coming up. So a bunch of those things, and then they're repackaging them and they have this whole line of products that are the apprentice line, which is for beginner magicians. All of them are well packaged. They look good. And I like the vibe and the appeal. They remind me of when I first got into magic and I bought these same kind of things. They were from Adam's Magic Company and probably one or two other ones that you'd recognize. But I'm pretty sure Adam's was like the big one, it seems like. Anyway, what do you get in the box? So you get this card right here, which has the stuff on the back of it to give you the tutorial. Then you get the cards that you need to do the effect. So what's the effect? Well, I'll do it on you right now. So, I'll give you a moment. Think of any card that you see here. Got it? Lock it in your mind. And now I'm going to see if I can discover, I think that you are thinking of this card right here. That's what I think. And I've removed one card. And if you look, you'll find your card is no longer there because I nailed it. I know what card you're thinking of. That's the effect. Most people are familiar with that in Magic if you've been around Magic for a while. Now, if you're new, you may not know that effect, but that's what the effect is. So how's it work? Well, the cards do all the work for you, and it's the kind of thing where you could just film it and send it to somebody, or you could have it as a video on your social media feed or something like that, or you could do it over a Zoom call or whatever. All of those things are true, and it will work. The problem is if it's recorded, it won't take long for them to figure out how it was done, right? Just Rewind this video, you'll probably figure it out. But they said that you could do it that way, so that's why I don't have a problem telling you to rewind because you would have thought of that anyway. Well, if you didn't know this effect at all and you were just fooled by that, which A, awesome, because it's great to be fooled by magic. We forget what it feels like. So if you were fooled, that's awesome. But you're probably gonna go, wait, I'm gonna go back and think of a different card, see what happens, right? You'll soon kind of catch on. Anyway, the method, the cards do all the work. I mean, there's really not much more to it than that. So how is the product quality? But for now, for your customer's sake, for your daughter's sake, you might want to think about buying a quality product from me. Well, the cards are decent looking. I'll show you just one of them here. This is the back. They're kind of a plasticky kind of a card. This is the front. And they look pretty close to bicycle. 
faces, you know, these are bridge sized, not poker sized. They are plastic. And so when I first opened the package, I could not get the cards to spread. They wouldn't spread. But you see in the video, they spread just fine. In his video, they spread just fine. So when I first opened them, I couldn't even get them to spread. I thought, okay, well, this product's going to be bombed or you're going to be a bomb. But when I went back to watch the video and all that stuff, and I pulled them out again, I, I was working with them, they were able to spread. So if yours don't spread right away, don't panic. They probably will spread. I think you'll probably be fine. So I was able to get them to spread, no problem. They stay, they're not going to span like a deck of bikes, but they do okay where you can spread them with two hands. Like you can't do a one-handed fan, right? That's not, there's two cards that are stuck together. But before, I couldn't even get them to spread at all. So you're not going to be doing any kind of fancy spreads or fans. You just have to kind of fan them out like you would if you're playing poker, turn them around, show the cards, and then go into the routine. So there is a little bit of a hit on the product quality because of that. The other thing, the product quality of the video, it's very short. It doesn't need to be much longer than it is, but Javier does a performance to the camera, which, you know, to me, the, the viewer or you, when you, if you happen to buy this, and he messes it up, right? He does it. He does He lost track of the cards, basically. If you know how it works, you know what I mean? And so he removed one card. And then when he showed the fan to the thing, said, did we get it? I'm like, no, my card's still right there. I'm looking right at it. And then I think he realized that he might have messed up because he quickly closed the fan and put the cards away. And he said, and let me quote, because I want to make sure I get the exact wording here. He says, did I get your card to the camera? Followed by most of the time we get it. That's a quote. Followed by pretty much every time you're going to get it. So he's telling the viewer, the person who bought the product, that most of the time we get it, pretty much every time you're going to get it. Well, if you're new to magic, which is the intended audience for this thing, and you're told that most of the time you'll get it or pretty much every time you'll get it, that's not very reassuring. And it might be a little confusing because once you know how it works, you'll realize, well, when is the pretty much time that I might miss or whatever? So it might be a little bit confusing. So I had a little bit of a problem with that. That was kind of an issue. Otherwise, though, it was fine. And he explains how to use it, and it's it's just fine. And there is a particular way to handle the cards, and I actually did the handling, wasn't much, in the performance I just did a second ago. And you'll see the way I handle the cards. It's very simple, and you don't have to do anything fancy. So that's it. Overall product quality is pretty solid, except for that one thing I just mentioned. So here's where we get into a little bit of trouble with the ad copy integrity. All of these apprentice line products make the same claim in fact they have it looks like a copy and paste in all of their products so let's take a look at what this says here it says apprentice products come complete with all necessary props that's true online instructions that's true as well as a great storyline to capture the imagination of your audience that is 100 percent false some of them in the past have but this one and the next couple i'm going to be looking at not true at all. There's no storyline. The closest thing we get is Javier starts off by saying that he's doing the performance to the camera so we can see what a performance of it will look like. And so he goes into presentation mode. Sorry about all the air quotes. Sorry about all of the air quotes. And he goes into presentation mode and he says, this is the princess car trick. It was a famous trick of some princess. And I'm slightly butchering it, but it's not far off from what he actually said. It's a famous trick from some princess who had the ability to read people's minds and she would show them five cards and that was the presentation. And first of all, he said the name of the trick in the performance. Don't ever do that, in today's world at least. I mean, if you if you live in 1950 right now, fine, go ahead. But in today's world, no, you can't do that because they're gonna look it up. It's called the princess card trick. They're gonna look it up. And trust me, you look it up and it's the first hit, you'll see the details there and in fact, there's a link in the written review that links off to Conjuring Archive. But if not, go look it up. That's a free site for magicians for anybody where you can go up and look up the history of an effect, which they didn't cover any of that in the video with any depth that was meaningful at all. In fact, I don't remember anything at all about it. They may have touched on it, but it was not really there. Well, they should have. But you go look up the history. And in the, the first hit in the ConjuringArchive.org, it's Dennis Bear's website, it tells you the method right there. So, I mean, it's it's public domain. I could tell you the method, but you just go look and you'll see, and you probably already know by the way I handle it and if you're around the, the video. So I'm half tempted to just show it to you, but I 
lay people do watch this channel, so I, I try to be careful. Once in a while, there's a lay person sneaking in trying to find secrets. But magicians, go to Dennis Bear's website. I guess the lay people are going to go there too now. <laughs> Whatever. Shut up, Jeff. So I have a problem with them claiming that there's a great story when there is not. And I'm not hitting them on, it's a great story. No, there's just no story. If you're going to say on all of your products, we give you a great presentation, then show me a presentation. Not just a quick low. This is a card trick that belonged to a princess. The end. That's not a great storyline. Okay? It's not a storyline. So I had a problem with that. So final thoughts on this. If you have like a niece or nephew or a son or daughter or grandchild or whatever that's getting into magic and they're new to magic, this is a good product. I think that they'll be happy with it and you can help them and it could be a good bonding thing where you teach them how to use it or whatever. And that is the target. I mean, these things are like six bucks or whatever. They're not very expensive. By the way, though, I will say if you have Max Maven's Boave Deluxe sold by Penguin, you have the cards you need, right, to do this with some nicer cards. So if you want to do the trick, again, it's public domain, so you can do it. Just use the Boave cards, the Deluxe Boave set. But if you wanted to give this to, again, somebody that you're sort of mentoring in Magic that's young, this is a great situation, a great product for that situation is what I meant to say. Anyway, I'll shut up now. Three and a half stars is the final verdict. Stone status of gem with the little G, little E, little M. 3.5 stars, stone status of gem. That's it for this one. Now it's time. We'll listen to the random iTunes song in a moment, but of course, you have to like, subscribe, share, comment, do all the things down there while you listen to... Oh, I thought for a split second, I thought it was two minutes to midnight, but it's three minute warning by Warlock. Two minutes to midnight, it's Iron Maiden. Three minute warning by Warlock. I just told a great Warlock story on a recent video. I don't remember which video it is, frankly. I think it was, yeah, I don't know. Don't remember which one it is. Anyway, Warlock, Doro Pesh, awesome band. Go get the Triumph and Agony album. It's killer. Anyway, I'll put a link to that down in the description below. As always, thank you for watching. Thanks for the continued support. Until next time, peace out.